In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at synthetic division when you're dividing the divisor is a cubic. So I, I have this uh, fifth order polynomial m divided by x cubed minus 3x plus 1. So at the top of your synthetic division, you put the coefficients from um, what you're dividing this cubic into. And notice that uh, in this case, there's no x to the fourth term. So you put a zero there. So 1x to the fifth, no x to the fourth, and then minus 4x cubed, 1x squared, 3x plus 1. And something similar happens with a cubic. See, there's no x squared term. So what you write out here on the left side of the synthetic division is because there's zero x squareds. So you start with a zero. You, you don't put the one for the x cubed. You start with the second term. And then these all get uh, their signs changed. So it's negative 3x. We put a positive 3. It's a positive 1. In the ends, we use a negative 1. And uh, s similar to more basic synthetic divisions, this leading 1 comes right down to the bottom. So we put a 1 there. The 0 actually comes down two levels. So we put a 0 there. And this no, the second, the next term, comes down one level. So we put the negative 4 there. So, so what we're going to do is take these three numbers and multiply them by that 1. And the answers go, they always go in the diagonal. So 0 times 1 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. And negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 and then we add. So 0 and 0 adds to 0. Negative 4 and 3 adds to negative 1. And negative 1 and positive 1 add to 0. OK, let's change to orange here now. So now I have another number down here. So I'm going to take the three numbers and multiply it by that 0. And of course, it, it doesn't matter which of these numbers you multiply by 0. It's going to be all zeros. So I guess to work through it, uh, 0 times 0 is this 0. 3 times 0 is this 0. And negative 1 times 0 is this 0. And of course, we add again. So negative 1 and 0 adds to negative 1. 0 and 0 adds to 0 and 3 and 0 adds to 3. Now we have a third number down here. We're almost done the division. So again, each of these numbers is going to get multiplied by that negative 1. So 0 times negative 1 is 0. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, always up in that diagonal. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And we add. So 0 and 0 adds to 0. 3 and negative 3 adds to 0. So that 0, we're going to drop down here. I'll, I'll interpret all these numbers in a moment. 1 and 1 adds to 2. And that gets dropped down here too. Now, there's a vertical line that goes right here. And that's because. Uh, you see, we're dividing an x to the fifth polynomial by x cubed. So 5 minus 3 is 2. We should expect an answer, uh, a quotient, that has an x squared in it. So this x squared is a, uh, a polynomial with three terms. So the first three is the answer, is the quotient. So that's why this goes here. The rest of this is remainder. Now, how we interpret this 1, 0, negative 1 is this is x squared. There's no x term, and then there's a minus 1 in the end. So the answer is x squared minus 1. And we usually use r for remainder. The, remain, uh, the remainder isn't a, uh, an algebraic expression. It's just a number 2. Okay, it's 0x squared plus 0x plus 2. Okay, so the remainder is just 2. So, so that's the that's the quotient, x squared minus 1, remainder 2. Now, I wrote this just to show you this is the long division. OK, I'm going to do this by long division just to verify that's the answer. So, and I could stick the 0x to the fourth in here and the 0x squared, but I don't really need to. 
Okay, you can do that. As long as you're uh, lining up vertically like terms, you're okay. So x cubed divides into x to the fifth x squared times. So we put x squared here. So now we multiply x squared by x cubed. So we get x to the fifth. And x squared times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. Sorry, not x squared, cubed. And x squared times 1 is x squared. And remember in uh, long division, you're subtracting. Remember in the synthetic, you always add. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. So um, x to the fifth minus x to the fifth is nothing, so don't put, bother putting anything. You can write 0 x to the fifth, I guess, if you want. So we're at negative 4x cubed to subtract negative 3x cubed. So it ends up being negative 4x cubed plus 3x cubed. So that's just plain old x cubed. And x squared minus x squared is nothing. Again, I could write a 0 there if I want. So we drop the 3x down. And actually, we're going to need to drop the 1, 2. And that's because we're going to get the like terms with, with this So uh, in this next line. So let's go to green here. So x cubed divided into x cubed goes how many times? Goes one time. Now I don't put the one here, okay? Because it's just one, it's not one x. So, uh, oh, I missed my sign here, didn't I? That's a negative. Negative four plus three is negative one. So x cubed divided into negative x cubed is minus one. So now we multiply that negative one by this um, trinomial. So we get negative x cubed. Negative 1 times negative 3x is plus 3x. Notice these are the same. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. We almost got a remainder 0 here. Almost. So these are these are the same terms. So they would subtract to 0. These are the same terms. So they would subtract to 0. And 1 take away negative 1 is 2. Remember, that's the remainder. Okay, so same quotient, x squared minus 1, we got over here, and same remainder of 2 we got in the synthetic division. So that's just demonstrating another way that it does work out to the same thing. So that's how you divide by a cubic polynomial. And that's the end of the tutorial.